Hey guys, it's Preston and we're back with another video. It's currently Thursday. This is probably going to go up Friday afternoon after I get back from school. Tomorrow night I am going to my dad's and this weekend we do have a three day weekend. So I'm going to take the opportunity and I'm going to go out on my boat with my grandpa. And maybe a few other people. So I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be using and what I like to use to catch trout, flounder, and redfish in the early fall. And then I'm going to show you a few more things that I like to use when I'm out fishing on the boat. I will be filming that, so y'all will be looking forward to that. We're going early Sunday morning. We get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, so we're going to go Sunday morning. So I'm going to go down there Saturday night. So I'll probably start that recording sometime Saturday night. So it's like 9 o'clock right now on Thursday. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what we use and then a few accessories that I like to bring along with me. And let's go on and get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we have here is, like I saw, my Shimano Casitas with the Tsunami Rod. Uh, if y'all haven't go see that video, it's the Rod and Reel unboxing video. And uh, fishing tackle haul. So, sorry if you hear my guinea pig over there, he just threw his food. So, what I'm going to be throwing is a small Down South Lures purple and chartreuse tail with just a regular jig head. I don't know how much it weighs, but that's the setup part that we're using. With 15 pound spider wire braid. This is the rod I'm gonna be throwing uh, soft plastics on and lures. Um, I'm gonna throw that whenever we get down there on Saturday night in the lights and I'll probably fish it before the lights turn on. So, what I'm going to be doing is early that morning, I'll probably fish the lights again because we usually do catch trout on swim baits, the uh, paddle tails over there. So I'll probably be throwing that in the lights and then once we get on the boat, I'll probably switch over to a top water, probably a she dog or a spook. And I'm going to try to get some trout or redfish on a top water. So, but this, I just have this rigged up so I can fish with that whenever we get down there and then early in the morning. And then once the morning's over and it kind of gets like a little bit brighter outside and the top water bite kind of turns off, I will switch over to that again. Another thing you can really use for, this is a chicken on a chain down south. I like to bite the heads off so you get just smoother surface to put your jig head. This is the longer version of that. Um, so if you're fishing for like big bull reds, that's something good to use. Um, let's see what color. It's just the plum and chartreuse. Down south lures, the smaller ones. Another thing I, I this is probably one of my favorite saltwater baits to use. And probably a lot of anglers' favorite saltwater lure to throw. You can catch trout, redfish, and flounder. I've caught all of them. You can fish this underneath the popping cork. You can fish this just around a jig head. You can basically fish this any way you want. And that is gulp. Now this is the pink, pink swimming mullet. These are probably my favorite for flounder. Um, I've caught quite a bit of flounder on these pink ones. I also do have a tub down there that has new penny shrimp. I have purple shrimp. I have ghost shrimp. I have white swimming mullet. I have chartreuse swimming mullet. But these are probably my favorite. So. I used to have a bunch of other colors, but I used them all, and then I lost my soft plastics back. The other thing is, DOA, just a little paddle tail. It's, it's almost like a saltwater assassin, I don't really have any saltwater assassin with me, so. These should work pretty good, the color on them, I really, I like the color on them, it doesn't say what the name of the color is. Okay, and then second thing I'm gonna be throwing out there is my H2 Express spinning rod or spinning reel with 50 pound braid, and then my ugly stick. And as you can hear, so starting from top, we have a popping cork that has shakers in it that, to attract the fish, and that's connected to the braid. Right underneath, you have we have just a regular swivel. Um, if you really want to, if you have a cork that slips on that's not, that doesn't have rattles in it, and you want a little bit of 
noise, then you could put one of those little bead swivels here. I have a bunch of them, just I'm not using them because I have this. Then we have about a three foot liter, uh, fluorocarbon liter, 10 pound test. And then we have that that goes down to a, just a regular circle hook. Um, and then a bead. Just the bead gives it a little bit better presentation and just I found that using the bead helps catch more fish. Um, it might not be really true, but I found it to be true. Maybe y'all fish a different way. Um, you can also fish jig head underneath this with gulp. I'm also probably going to try that if live shrimp doesn't work as much for fishing with this. I don't think we're going to be fishing too many live mullet or too many live croaker um, because Mullet or croaker to be right now, and I don't know about mullet. We're just gonna fish live shrimp because we know where we can catch fish on them. Uh, we're gonna be targeting trout, flounder, and redfish, like um, like I said before. And the fly, it's currently October fifth. The flounder run is sort of in motion. It kind of just started, so that's something I'm really looking forward to. After we get off the boat, I might, I'm might i probably going to fish off the dock for a little bit, but I'm probably also going to go out my kayak and fish the marsh over there in Bayou Vista next to Lou's Bait Camp. I don't know if any of y'all know where that is. So I'm probably going to go fish that area and see if we can't get us a few keepers out of there. Um, so I'll probably film that. I don't know if that's going to be in this video. It might be in a separate video. Uh, I was also going to film another video today, but it's kind of late, so I'm probably not going to. I'll probably just film it out there, so I'll probably make three videos total out there. That's if I go on my kayak. If I don't, then it'll only be one. One of them's going to be what I bring on my kayak with me, but that'll probably just be in my kayak fishing video. So, I'll probably only film one out there. That's going to be me on the boat. I'll have the GoPro up here on my head. Um, I'll have my little camera with me, too, so if I need to use that at all, we can use that. But... I'll probably just start the recording if we hook into one or if we're getting hit or before we make a move or just telling y'all information that y'all need to know, which I don't know. There's just random stuff out there. But anyway, guys, I think that does wrap up this video. I did fish earlier today and I caught a really big catfish. It's like this big, maybe nine pounds. Um, but that is going to end this video. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, and comment down below what videos you want to see. It would mean a lot. We just hit 65 subscribers, which is awesome. I didn't make a video when we hit 50 because we grew, we got like 20 subs really fast. I've been commenting on other people's videos that I've been watching and liking. So, because I've just been learning new techniques. And I'll find a video and I'll like the video and I'll use subscribe to them. And then I comment on the video, and then sometimes they subscribe to you back, sometimes they don't. But, and they also do watch my videos, they're actually really active. They comment, they've commented on almost all my videos. So, before I end the video, I want to go ahead and show y'all something. Um, I haven't really used this too much, but what it is, is it's a fishing vest. And, I already ended the video, but I forgot, so I'm just going to put this in before the ending, so gotta unzip it. Okay. So basically what it is is just like a fishing vest. It's like a life jacket with no floats. Let's see if I can actually get it zipped up. Yeah that's not gonna happen right now. But what there is, is there's a pocket here. There is a pocket right here. There is a pocket right here. Pocket right here. And then another pocket down here. Now, I'm probably going to wear this on the boat because it's really lightweight. It's really comfortable. And it's, like, breezy. So... But I can get like get air in here. I won't be sweating. So I can keep like I usually if I have any I'll keep pro here on me. It's just like scent that you put on your lures. I'll probably keep like a few lures right here. Maybe a pack of like gulp and down south right here. Uh, maybe a few extra 
just like necessities that I might need like a knife or a pair of pliers or anything like that or once I start doing wade fishing this is going to be perfect I also I have an Everlast wading belt that I can also use so I will see y'all at the ending of this video peace that is going to wrap up this video I hope y'all guys did enjoy and I will see you Saturday afternoon peace